Hello everyone. Welcome to the Great Purple Balloon Smash. So I have someone I'm trying to make a purple balloon smash for and I've even used the same colors that I did on previous ones she liked but as you know abstract art balloon smash is included nothing comes out the same way twice so I'm going to do two mostly purple but with some silver and some pearl and a little bit of teal in it maybe um, balloon smash this is a 12 by 16 um, black canvas with lamp black from creative inspirations on it I will try to make this as fast as possible I have three different balloons blown up uh, back to the purple on black I have four different versions of purple I'm using um, I'm using Soho Dioxazine Violet. I'm using Deco Art Metallic Amethyst. I am using Creative Inspirations Purple Lake. I'm going to use Rose Matter, which is more like a burgundy purple. Um, I'm going to use Deco Art Extreme Sheen Pearl because I need to have some lightness in here. I'm also going to use Lucas Arctic, Lucas Curl Arctic. Um, Artist Loft Silver and Lucas Curl Teal if it all works out to look right. So I am going to go down first with the Purple Lake from Creative Inspirations. And you know, these um, spread out so I really don't have a rhyme or reason to where I put my paint because it's going to cover the whole canvas. Torch in between, as always. Um, after that, I'm going to go in with the Dioxazine purple or violet. It's it's purple, in my opinion, not violet, but um, that's a transparent, so I'm not, it should show up decently. But you know, you never know with these things. Um, after that, I'm gonna go in with a little of the Artist Loft silver. Lighten things up just a little bit. Ooh. And then the Deco Art Amethyst. After I'm done with this black one, I'm going to do the same thing on white because I don't know how this will turn out. And because I like a little brightness, Lucas Krill Arctic. And depending on how the smash goes, I can always add later. You've probably seen my other smashes. I add paint as I go if needed. This is a lot of paint. So I may end up showing you how I do a smash and do a dip with a smaller canvas and you then do a smash over it. So here we go. Let's start here. Ooh, that's pretty. The person I'm doing this for, she sent me pictures of her current uh, decor and art, and it's beautiful. In fact, I told her not to get rid of the one that she, there's a certain painting. It's multiple pieces, which uh, is just gorgeous. I'm like, don't get rid of that. She has no intention on that, thank goodness. But um, 
But it was good to see what color she used, has, and these actually are pretty much them, uh, minus maybe, you know, some of the lighter colors. But you have to put a little light on a back, black background. Now I'm going to get these to go over the corner and be smashed where I want it. And then I'll do my dip because I can tell it's a lot of paint. Um, all of my paints, as you probably heard me mention, are medium density. And I do have a video on how I mix my paints if you want to watch that. These colors are beautiful together. I love this. I wish, and I'm going to put some more of the purple lake on top because it's not coming through and it's just gorgeous. I mean, I, I love the, the others, but we need to get a little more of this in here. So yeah, the balloon smashes, people like them. That's why I'm still doing them. And I think they're fun. As long as balloons don't pop on me, they're fun. See those colors? That's beautiful, in my opinion. I just love color, though. Like, I just, I love it all. There's some great cells coming down there. So I'm in a good mood because I'm going to get to see my family this weekend and Hubs is traveling with me and that's always enjoyable. We have someone who is our dog slash house sitter. So I have no problem telling you I'm going away because I don't even know when you're going to see this video. Alright, that's a lot of paint. So let me get a um, canvas to dip in it. And then I'll show you what I was talking about in one of my other videos regarding doing a dip. Okay everyone, so I've talked in my other smashes about I did um, a level 3 canvas, two of them for a client and I had too much paint on the canvas during the smash. So what I did was I took a smaller size canvas like I'm about to do here and I did a dip, right? And I'll show you those dips. I did a dip. This is the one dip, I did two. I don't know if you can see that whole thing. I can't see it at all. So there, I did two dips, like I'm about to do with this 9x12, and I have two 9x12s ready to go. So let's get rid of some paint, and then we're just going to smash it all over again. This 9x12 does not, it's black as you see, it does not have any paint on it whatsoever. I'm not worried about it, and you will see why in a minute. Oh, cool, man. So, let me get the rest of this. I'm going to put it long ways. Filled up. I did get some on there, but that's alright. So, because see, when I press down, it brings it up so it covers it covers all, you know, all the top and then I cover the sides of the dip once I make sure it looks fabulous. Which that is fabulous. I think this is awesome, personally. So now what I do for my sides that are dry is I just go like this and I go like this into the paint and then I'll do this side 
and I'll do this side. And I managed to do that without any tape on the back. I guess I shouldn't jinx myself. But there it is. Well, that's upside down, really. There's the dip. It's selling up nicely. I'm gonna set it on my drying rack. Yeah, I think I'm just going to do the 1 9 by 12 and see what we have paint-wise on here. Yeah, it still looks like a little bit, but I'm fine if it flows over. So, if you have too much paint on your balloon smash, do a dip. And then smash again. I do have to say, I mean, I am glad I thought about this. Um, I did mention it in a previous video. But you could even do it on purpose, you know, so you say so you want to do a dip in the same colors. Just go ahead and do it. There's some beautiful settling going on already, so I'm going to be kind of careful how I... How I do this, and we still have a lot of black coming up from the background. Not worried about it. Because if you know me, I usually like to go in at the end with some extra color if needed. I really do like these purples on the black though, especially this amethyst. So I'm just going in and making peaks, as you see, making sure the paint is kind of evened out, if you will. Some of that dioxazine purple is coming up. That's beautiful. I love it. This is where we have some extra. So I'll take it off the edges. Bring it towards where it's black, especially in the corner here. I gotta tell you, a lot of people are doing balloon smashes and they all are beautiful um, and we each have our own different ways of doing them. But I think it's also fun. Every time I think I'm done with balloon smashes, I just feel the need to do another. Okay, so let me pardon my pile of paper towels if that is in the shot. I currently don't know, but... Alright, so it's a little too dark down here for me. I'm going to go in with some of this dioxazine violet. Actually, that's going to stay the same. I'm just going to do a couple puddles here and there. I like it because it's brighter. Also, maybe a little bit of the champagne on top. Or pearl, sorry, it's pearl. And a little Lucas Krell Arctic. And then I might go in with some turquoise after I see how this looks. Because this webbing down in here is all the Lucas Krell Arctic and it looks very pretty. I will say I actually had my first balloon smash craze just a very little bit. Um, 
and it's been raining here for like a month. I mean, we've we're setting records in Nashville for the second most of all time since they've been keeping records rainfall for the month of February. So that might have something to do with it. But um, it wasn't anything that was very noticeable. You would really have to look for it. So I wasn't too worried. Because uh, it's so small and, you know, you would literally have to be an artist and stare at it and be up close to it to notice so so yeah it can happen people I knew it would happen eventually I just didn't know when so that as you would imagine that Lucas Curl Arctic it, it goes underneath very easily um, you remove my paper towels got rid of that balloon because it was just getting worn out. I'm going to do a little torching. I see a few bubbles here and there. I also feel the need for a little more color in a few places. So I am going to go in with the teal. We'll see. If it's not a good idea find out in about one minute. So I'm going to go in with a small balloon and I'm going to take this off this far edge. Down here is my plan. Or this edge here, that needs it too. Um, needs some brightness if you will. Mm, I need a lot more brightness. It's just the density of it is just not, that's, that's not, not doing it for me. I need to lay it down on top of something else. What can I lay it down on top of? You know what? I'm going to go in here with a little more silver. Worst case scenario is this doesn't turn out good and I keep it or somebody else buys it. I really would like to get one done for this person because she's the sister of a good friend of mine and it's frustrating when paintings don't go the way you want them to. Aha! So that's the key. Got to move some of these paints out of the way. Excuse my reach. And I just gotta, I just gotta kind of move it a little to the side, not just smash it. It's one of my tricks that I that I do, which I'm sure you know if you've been watching. I do like that turquoise in there. I'm my fan. Beautiful. Beautiful. That did not work. I have to start investing, I think, in some rags because the amount of paper towels I go through for these kind of projects is just ridiculous. Thanks for telling me, honey. I'm filming. I was just chimed in from the background if you heard him. <laughs> he forgot I was. I was recording. We have the no talk to me rule during recordings. Just a little more in the middle here, and then I'll be happy. Well, I'll be better. <laughs> I 
I'll take that and I'll put it there. Why not? Alright, I'm going to try one more thing at the end here and then I'll be done with this, I promise. This is a long balloon smash. I might end up speeding it up to music. Okay, I'm done. If I touch it anymore, I will ruin it. Gloves off, balloon down. Let me turn this off and I will take you down for a close up in a minute. 